All right, hello YouTube. Today, I'm gonna show you how to load and save a flight, or also known as a .flt file, in Flight Sim 2024. Um, so unlike in Flight Sim 2020, Flight Sim 2024 by default does not have the option to be able to choose an FLT file when you save or load it, but it does, the functionality does still work to some degree. There are some uh, tricks that you have to do though to get it to work right. So first things first, we'll start by loading a flight. I've already saved one previously. So we'll go here to save flight. You see I already loaded it, but I'm going to show you uh, how it's done. Typically you're not going to see this. But, um, we'll clear it. This is how it'll look. So, you do it through here. Of course, you scroll down, you go to load slash save PLN file. But, before you do that, you don't want to do it just yet because there is a, a little bug. Where if you do load it, the, it'll instantly crash a sim. The trick and workaround for that is click anywhere on the map. It doesn't really matter. Like, for example, here. Make sure that shows up and you see custom. Make sure this little thing here is like that. So now you go into your EFB. Load and save plan file. You click on load from this PC. Uh, I'm not sure if you see a little window, but a little window will pop up for File Explorer. So for file name, just start typing out the FLT file that you saved. And it will show up like uh, your, your the name of what you saved it as, and it'll say .flt. Uh, you'll want to click on that. When you start typing it out, and that's the file you want to load. An alternative that you can do is you can do asterisk dot and asterisk and then press enter and it will show every file in the directory. And you can select it that way. But I just find typing it out to be a little easier and <laughs> less of a headache. Once you've done that, you want to click open. And just like that, you loaded your flight file. And now you can pick up where you left off. Uh, another thing you want to do before as well, if you want to if you want to have live weather, you're gonna have to go to flight conditions. And then uh, make sure to make sure to click this again. Just click live once, and there you go. It sets it back to live. Click save and back. And then uh, start flight. <laughs> And just like that, you're now in your flight. And you can resume it. Alright, now I'm going to show you the saving part of it. So, to save your flight, you need to press tab to open up your EFB. Uh, scroll down, you do the same thing. Load slash save PLN file. And instead of doing load from this place, uh, load from this PC, you're gonna do save to this PC. Uh, you probably won't see it on on this end, but same thing as before. The Windows Explorer little window will pop up, and you'll see two you'll see two options. You'll see file name, which would be blank by default, and then you'll see save as type, which the only option you have. Is dot pln. Uh, that that won't matter, because the way you're gonna want to save this and and the file name, you want to give it a uh, name it whatever you want, and then after the name, put dot flt at the end of it for its ex file extension. Trust me, it will work that way. It will save it as an flt file. Once you've done that, then that's how you save. You're all set. And then you can just load it back later on if you want to come back and resume your flight. 
hopefully this uh, little tutorial helps, and uh, I'm going to start doing more tutorials here soon for flight sim. Anyways, that'll be all, everybody. Take care.